there welcome to another video today i'm gonna be showing you how to do this easy crochet crop top with a ruffle border if you enjoy this kind of videos please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe okay to start off this crochet top you will need some yarn i am using this cotton yarn from we crochet I am using five colors, you don't have to use as many. This is what I'm using for my top. First I'm gonna start by, by using this yellow and doing a magic ring. For a magic ring I wrap it around my finger and go around like this. Then do Two chains. Okay. Now I'm gonna do two double crochets. Okay, now two chains. This is gonna be the first corner. and three more double crochets. In case you need a reminder, two chains for the corner, but in case you need a reminder for the double crochet, yarn over, insert hook, grab the yarn, Pull it up, yarn over again, go through two loops, and again go through two loops. Okay? It's gonna be three double crochets on each side. Two chains again. And three more double crochets to form the square. Two chains, pull that yarn, and slip stitch to that chain at the top of the chain. One chain and cut off the yarn. And there you have your first round, your first square. I have a little bit left right here for this color. So, to attach the yarn, grab it from behind, pass it over two chains. This counts as a double crochet. Two more double crochets in that same corner. And now we're gonna do a corner right here, two chains, and another three double crochets in that same corner. You can see that is a corner. You're gonna do the same thing on the other corner from the first round. Three double crochets. Two 
two chains. Three more double crochets. And you're gonna do the exact same thing two more times and like the first round slip stitch here okay I have finished this round we're gonna go with the next color right here and I'm gonna start in the middle right here Touch the yarn once again, two chains. Okay, two more double crochets because the two chains count as a double crochet. Going to a corner, three double crochets. Two chains, three double crochets in that same corner, as you can see this is the pattern forming, you're gonna do three double crochets in each space, in each, between each three double crochets from the previous round so that's how we'll do three double crochets here another corner here and so on so you can do this as long as you want as wide as you want again I'm doing this for a few more rounds until it fits my size because this is easily customizable you can measure your bust and determine how wide you need this square to be when you measure the square and multiply it by four and you need to be as close as possible to your bust or it can be a little bit bigger so it can fit you a little bit looser however you prefer so i'll see you when i finish this square okay right now i am in my last round of my granny square and for you, this would be your first square, but I have done three more off camera and now I'm gonna show you how to attach them by the corner. So I'm gonna do three double crochets like normal on this corner. Okay. And now, I'm gonna take my other square that is already made and I'm gonna go into that corner and do a slip stitch so I'm gonna insert my hook grab the yarn pull through and again pull through that yarn on my hook okay like that and chain one Okay, and continue to do three double crochets like normally on the same corner. Okay, now it's attached. So I'll just keep doing my three double crochets on each in between until I finish this round then I will teach you how to do the triangles that go on this part okay okay to start the triangle we're gonna start with a magic ring just like the first time okay chain two
and you're gonna do three more double crochets that two chains it's gonna be an extra okay two chains and again four double crochets gonna pull here and there you have your first mini triangle chain one and I'm cut off the yarn let's go with the next color we're gonna go between that chain two and the first double crochet and attach our yarn chain two three double crochets in that same space And three double crochets in this first corner at the top. Chain two. And again, three more double crochets. And three more double crochets before that last double crochet from the previous round. I meant four. I'm gonna do four double crochets. Chain one, cut off the yarn. There you can see the triangle is forming. I'm gonna do this one more time, going between that chain two and double crochet from the previous round. Attach your yarn chain two, three more double crochets in that same space, three more double crochets in between those three from the previous round. So as you can see it's almost the exact same thing from doing the granny squares just that you are doing a triangle you're doing less sides in the corner same again three double crochets two chains and three more double crochets so this is the pattern forming again three more double crochets between these three from the previous round and four here on the last before the last double crochet so I'm gonna finish this triangle and before i have to attach it i'm going to show you how you're going to attach it okay i have finished or almost finished my triangle here i just have one round left that's where i'm going to attach it to the rest of my top i have attached my collar here on the corner with two chains and before i do the three double crochets i'm going to attach it to this corner right here so insert the hook, grab the yarn, and pull through that loop you have on your hook, okay? And do the three double crochets as normal. Okay? 
Now go into the next space and do a slip stitch again. Insert the hook, grab the yarn, and pull through that loop on your hook, okay? Again, three double crochets as normal. Go into that next space, insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull through, and pull through that yarn on your hook. So you're gonna keep doing that all the way around. When you reach the corner, do a slip stitch on each side, on this side and this side, just so it's, it is extra secure and you don't have any holes or gaps in between. And the same thing when you finish the other corner, you're gonna do a slip stitch on that corner right there. So it is all attached all the way. So I'm gonna finish all my triangles off camera and then I'm gonna show you what to do with the border. Okay, I have finished attaching my squares and my triangles. This is how it's looking. And as you can see, you're gonna have a lot of loose ends here at the bottom from the triangles. Don't worry, you're gonna cover that up with a single crochet all along the border. So you're gonna attach any color and do a single crochet. Attach it wherever you like. Chain two, I'm sorry, no, not chain two. <laughs> Just one chain and a single crochet in that same stitch. And I'm making sure I'm holding all my yarns on the back. So I'm gonna go in the corner here, single crochet. So you're gonna do this as best as you can. For the double crochets, I usually put two single crochets inside there. I find that just one, it's gonna close in the top. So make sure that you have your loose ends tucked between the hook and the yarn you're holding on the back. So when you close that single crochet, they're gonna be inside. So, single crochet, holding all the yarns, and close it. So, that's pretty much it. It doesn't require much, just to hold the loose ends right there. This way, you're skipping a step. You're not using a needle to hide all those ends, and then you can just go with some scissors and cut the, the little bits that you have left. So I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll meet you when I finish this round of single crochets. Okay, I have finished my single crochet border. As you can see, a lot of the loose ends kind of disappear. Right now I just have to go around and cut this little things coming out that's normal so now we're gonna do a little bit of ruffle just to add a detail and right now i'm gonna chain two and do a double crochet on that same stitch that chain two counts as a double crochet and then i'm gonna do two double crochets on each single crochet so that's pretty much it for the border for this round i mean keep doing two double crochets on each single crochet until you reach this the other side Okay, I have finished doing my double crochets around the border, two on each stitch. Now I'm going to chain two 
and turn that counts as a double crochet so I'm gonna start doing my double crochets on this one and the next one and this time it's gonna be one double crochet on each double crochet you can see it's pretty straightforward it's just double crochets all around it's gonna be a little bit thicker as you can see so once I finish that round I'll meet you here at the top I'm gonna do a nice border and the straps okay so I have finished this last round as you can see this is my last double crochet and I'm just gonna insert my hook into that first chain at the top. I'm gonna slide through on the loop on my hook. That's a slip stitch and chain one. And that's it for the bottom. So I finished my border. It's looking like this. I think it turned out pretty cute. So what I'm gonna do now is finish the top part. I'm gonna do a single crochet border first before doing my straps, just so it looks more finished. Chain one, single crochet in that same stitch. And just keep doing single crochets on every stitch. Pretty simple. Okay, so when you get to this part, to the top, you're going to do three single crochets in that space. Okay, that's where our strap is going to go. So I'll see you when I go around and do a slip stitch here. Okay, I have finished doing the single crochet around the border. I finished right here with a slip stitch, chain one, and cut my yarn. So right now I'm gonna go into that space. Well, not into that space, into this single crochet at the top and I'm gonna attach my yarn. I'm gonna do 55 chains for the strap. That is my measure. Doesn't have to be your measure. You can go ahead and measure a strap from a top of yours and do that amount of chains. So I'm gonna begin doing my chains. And when I finish, I'll meet you here and I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay, these are my 55 chains. Now I'm gonna go on the other side into that middle stitch. And do a slip stitch. Go through that loop on my hook. I'm gonna go into that next stitch. I'm gonna do slip stitch again. Now we're gonna work on the chain. Now I'm gonna do half double crochets, so I'm gonna yarn over, go into that last chain, insert my hook, yarn over again, and close that half double. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I reach the other side. Okay, I have finished doing my half double crochets into my chain, so I'm gonna do exactly like, like the other side. I'm gonna do a slip stitch right next to where I started. So insert the hook, yarn over and go through that loop on your hook, chain one. I already cut my yarn, so 
I'm gonna pull up and that's it there you go that's my strap I will do the other off camera but this is basically it for this stuff I think it turned out great so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoy making this fun crochet top if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe